Well, if you focus on, on classroom activities, um, the most uh, difficult thing is when the parent behaves as the parent of his or her, or her own child. Um, and for, of course you need to empower the parent not to do that. Or if you see that that parent will behave differently with his or her child, then you simply put that parent into a different class. Uh, so, for example, in the included project that we have already mentioned, uh, they did have exper good experiences of parents working with their own children and also parents working with other children. So I think it's a very important role of the teacher to realize that some parents will always be, even if they have to look after another 10 children, will have a special kind of focus on their own. And for many people it's difficult to do. Uh, not to focus on their own as um, in a different way. So probably this is the most important thing that the teacher has to take into consideration. With some parents it works. Um, for example, if you go swimming and you are a male teacher and there is a mother going with you, um, the mother will help all the 15 kids to dry their hairs and to dress up and things like that without any problems, without paying special attention to their own children. But at the same time, you need to also tell them that in this situation, you are not the mother or the father of that kid. So don't be more, uh, sometimes these parents seem to be more lenient with their own children and sometimes they uh, tend to be stricter with them. Uh, I can speak from my own experience. I've been going to summer camps with my own children. And in the first one, two years, um, it was difficult to just, you know, oversee a lot of things that were, as a parent, I would have reacted. But at the same time, in a summer camp, a lot of things happened that normally don't happen in a family uh, context. But that can be avoided if you have two parents and you just swap. Um, Another thing that can go wrong um, is, well, those parents who, who don't want to work with the, with the teacher will simply not come. And, well, I think this is also something that goes wrong. So somehow, at least a few times during the schooling of the child, I wouldn't say a few times a year, you need to reach out and bring in all the parents, even if just um, like an audience for, for a little performance but they have to see that they can be proud of their own children. The other thing that can go wrong is when uh, the parent is overwhelming, when they are the ones who know it all and know it better. Um, there are certain cases where you simply have to cut their activities, but I think that if you are a professional as a teacher, then you need to just take that parent to the side and say, this is what I'm professional at. I really appreciate your professional experience in that and let's work together let's have an agreement on what our little areas are and you know like the dogs let's pee it around pee around our own areas and that can also be solved well there are some parents who will be too overwhelming but again if two teachers work together you can simply swap and send that parent to the other classroom. And then if their children, their own children are not there, they usually behave in a little bit of a different way.